And they're going for it. Babes, you're out of here. You're not getting invited to any more parties. Time to blow out the candles and officially enter adulthood. Why, hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode. And a lot happened last episode. Like, an awful lot happened last episode. First of all, we're thinking about Robin while we're sleeping. But also, if I go to romantic interest, suddenly... There's two new boxes in there because we have Trent, who I like to imagine as like, I don't know, he's a bit of a bad boy. He's perceived as extremely attractive, so we're very attracted to him. But kind of on a friendship level, it's difficult to make that connection but we're very into him. And then at the romance festival, we were just hanging out with the gang. And unfortunately, Jaden got the bad news about his mom, Amy, who was Robin's friend growing up, but whose husband uh, was actually Robin's best friend. And when we were comforting him, we kind of joked about, you know, the idea that we're about to hit adulthood. If we don't meet anybody, maybe we should just give it a go and be together. And I think she was just trying to be lighthearted, but jaden has been in love with her for a very long time. And he immediately like grabbed her hands and he's like, I don't want to wait kind of situation. And they flirted a bunch, but we didn't let it go any further because you know, he was grieving. It just wasn't the right time. However, we don't look at him and get the same fluttering heart that we get for Trent. It's a very different situation. However, we've got this whole, like they're lovebirds. They have this whole history together. They were there for each other in times of loss. They're deeply connected. They're closer from happy memories. They spend a lot of quality time together. There's two options here. She either goes for like bad boy Trent and goes for what her heart says, or at least like a fleeting heart says or she uses her head and goes for Jaden. Jaden also who's been employed for like a long time I'm pretty sure he is like a writer which is the same as Coral was which I thought was quite cool but yeah if we look at her life stage it's her birthday today she's gonna age up to an adult today so she's kind of got to make a decision now I actually think the idea of a safe easy life would probably terrify her we've still not finished the apartment by the way but yeah I feel like that's the complete opposite of her life so far she's enjoyed this whole hacking life style but I did get a notification when I jumped in which said that which said that my game is an error great but also that her spotlight is fading for her it's her infamacy her hacking infamacy is fading wait inf <laughs> Her hacking infamacy, I think that's right, is fading and she's kind of struggling with that. So yeah, she's got some decisions to make in today's episode. And we also made an enemy last episode, which she still feels uncomfortable about. We fell out with Cheyenne, who is Forrest's wife, because we had a crush on her. We were like, no. So now we've got two enemies. I still need to make three more. I don't know how I'm going to do that. But because we're losing some of our hacking infamacy, I am going to immediately jump on today and I am going to start hacking. <laughs> Both for money and also for infamacy. So let's hack the supercomputer. I still haven't had that call from a tech company being like, oh my gosh, you hacked our mainframe, but do you want to work for us rather than us turning you into the cops? Still waiting for that one, but hopefully that comes soon. Maybe to try and like tempt fate, I will also work on making like a virus today too. Also, neither of these guys are home. Jaden didn't come back last night. I guess he went back to his family. Zayn also didn't come back last night. If Zayn has spent the night with Viola, I will be very happy because I'm desperately trying to get those two together. But so far, it's not working. <laughs> they just definitely don't see eye to eye. But I'm hoping it's like a, like a haters to lovers situation. Oh, boom. We got good money. Really good money for hacking the supercomputer. Oh, he's here now. Zane, where have you been all night? I'm even gasping when I'm seeing him. What did you do? Honestly, I really don't like Viola. Well, he wasn't at Violet's house last week, uh, last night, which I'm desperate for them. I just want her as my sister-in-law because I love her. And I'm kind of sad that Briar was never into her. Okay, boom. Virus made. This sneaky piece of software has already netted her 439 simoleons, which is pretty amazing. I'm getting a bug whenever I try and complete my mobile app. She keeps standing up every time I tell her to do, which is really annoying because I don't know how to now clear it. But since I've just earned a bunch of money hacking, I may use that to actually give myself my own bathroom because this has kind of been like this for a while now. And as we're green gen, let's go for a green, oh jeez, a green bathroom. See if we can pull this one off. Okay, as far as green bathrooms go, I guess it's not too bad. The toilet, I, I can't have a green toilet. I'm sorry, that's just 
gross. Yeah, it's it's a bathroom. It's fine. It'll do. We are almost spent up again. Is there anything else I kind of need to get for the house? Oh, boys, your rooms are so sad and miserable. Maybe I'll treat you guys to a dresser. There you go. Don't say don't if do anything nice for you. Jaden, also don't take this the wrong way, but I gave it to my little brother first. You do have a bed rest, uh, head rest though, so you know. You have that one extra thing and we're gonna have to pay bills tomorrow. So I need to get working on this up and try and make some more money. Now, the thing is, I do have to say yes whenever I get an invite. While she wants, she's thinking about Jaden and she wants to be funny with him. Oh, she's working on it now, brilliant. I do kind of have to, whoever asked me to go for a date next, I gotta say yes to. And don't forget that also, Diamond could just pop out, out of the woodwork and also ask us to go out on a date. So don't rule that out. But yeah, I'm really interested to see who she gets a call from. I haven't forgotten about Zane's aspiration to do the Strangerville mystery. It would be quite cool to do that. We're almost at the end of Not So Very and it would be nice to have lived in Strangerville because I don't think we've done that so far. I haven't forgotten about that. Don't worry. I'm just waiting for like an event that means we have to run from the city. I'm preferably at an event that isn't running from Jaden because I think that would actually break his heart. I've also seen nothing of him. Literally nothing of him right now. <gasps> Although Luke is here. <gasps> Luke and Forrest. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, Zane's throwing a party. <gasps> Wait, is it for my birthday? You've invited my dad and brother? That's so freaking cute. I'm hacking right now, but if they come in, I'll talk to them. Okay, and my roommates paid me $154. I feel like the rent tomorrow is going to be way higher than that, but we shall see. <gasps> And you thinking about babies? Yeah, Is it because you're about to become an adult? Maybe. I do think we're about to finish our app. Our app was a how to hack because I give back to the community, you know? I didn't just learn how to hack at university. I want to make it free for everyone. So you don't have to pay for oh, university. God. You can just God. learn to hack from me instead. Boom. Okay. How to hack the mobile app. And that has made me a one star celebrity again, which is amazing. And it's got me some followers. So now that that's all done, I am gonna invite some folks around for my birthday. So let's do a birthday party that is with... I'm the host and I'm gonna invite both of these two, you know, just to see who I end up clicking with more. We'll invite Lily, Viola, not Diamond. Sorry, Diamond. Neo's obviously invited. I also want to invite some of the old uni folks. Where is like, uh, is it Brendan? What's he doing with his life nowadays? And actually, you know what? I think I am going to invite Diamond because remember when I tried to speak to her before I left and she was rude to me? If she's rude with me again, I'm going to make her an enemy because I need enemies. I need enemies for this part of the challenge and it's proving quite difficult. And why are there so many ghosts in my phone book? Okay, boom. Party time. Let's turn on. We did romance last time, didn't we? I'm going to turn on romance again. Oh, and she's here. Okay, she's here. She's feeling confident. I'm going to thank her for coming. Oh, and she's already saying awkward things. She's already saying a bunch of awkward things. I don't know what she's doing with her life. Oh, student loan payment. Oh, I can make it. Yes. So I'm going to just impishly pester her at first. Just, you know, play poke the bear. See where that goes. Oh my gosh, is Luke put on a little bow tie? <laughs> Luke with the bow tie for my birthday. That's so cute. Oh, he's looking so down since losing Robin. Bless him. Okay, Brandon is here. Forrest is here. Everyone's in my room. Why is everyone in my room? Oh, this is awkward. There are um, my two love interests sat opposite the bed from each other. And don't you think cousin Jaden has like... I think has a really good mix when I look at them of... I know it's Kai's child. But to me, it looks like Coral and Mahina's like perfect mix. I don't know. Which I suppose was also Kai, wasn't it? Cousin Jaden. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go sit next to bad boy Trent and just say hi to him, you know? We are arguing already with Diamond. This is good. I only told you to pester her, but she hated that that much. That I feel like we're well on the way to becoming enemies. Oh no, it was negative romance. Jeez, what did you do? Did she try and flirt with you again? I don't know. But this is a much calmer birthday. I'm realizing than my graduation party. Maybe because I'm about to become an adult, she's, she's calming down a little bit. I think she'll always be a little bit fiery, but she definitely seems to be calming down a little bit. This is Kai's wife, by the way. I don't know where Kai is. But she's an elder now too. Not that she's dressed like one. Oh, there's Kai. There's Kai. Okay. Oh, and what? He got up and moved away from me? And sat next to Lily. No, don't you go anywhere near Lily. She is so sweet and cute. And you're a bit of a bad boy, you know? Oh, 
Why have you just gone over? Okay, eat caprese salad. I'm like, why have you just gone over to Jaden? But it's just for hello hugs. For birthday hugs. I feel like maybe... Oh, he's thinking about cuts. Relatable. I feel like maybe he ages up on the same day as us. I kind of feel like that's the case. Right, I need to just go argue with Diamond real quick. Just kind of ruin my birthday by having a fight. I'm going to argue with her about politics. Maybe that's why I became unattracted to her. Maybe, you know, when you sit down with somebody, you think you're so into them, and then they just start talking about their views, and you're just like... Oh my gosh, we are very different people. Maybe that's kind of what happened. So I'm going to argue with her about her politics. I like the idea that maybe she's got very opposing um, views. And I heard her talking to Luke about them. And I was like, don't you be filling his head with that nonsense. Oh, poor Luke just in the middle of this. Like, why am I always here when you're making enemies? I hate this. But he'll also secretly cheer me on if we do get into a fight. So, you know, that bit's nice. Fight, boom, do it. Oh, and they're going for it. I feel like Briar's like, you know what? I've tried with you. I even invited me to my birthday. And you're still coming over here with these offensive views. Nah, babes, you're out of here. You're not getting invited to any more parties. Please win. You've won every fight so far. This could be the first one you lose. Win, 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 win. Oh my gosh, she actually wiped the floor with her. Yes, Briar. That is a three fight win record. Please declare enemy and we've got three out of five enemies done. Well, I guess that romance is definitely dead. <laughs> Boom, three enemies down, brilliant. And oh my gosh, I totally forgot about birthday cake. I have to bake my own birthday cake and I totally forgot. And I don't even know if she can eat it because she's like, you know, like Niles Crane on Frasier. Every time he does something unethical, he gets a nosebleed. Every time she gets in a fight, she wants to be sick. Like, every single time. So, I don't know if you'll be able to eat the cake. And <laughs> Briar has decided that she dislikes romance music. Okay, she can't be this sweet, gentle, acoustic person. It's just not her. Let's put on some of her favorite. Let's put on some electronica. And oh my gosh, the birth. Everyone's going because it took me, like, so long. To <laughs> so long to get round to the cake. Oh, I feel bad. No, people don't leave. The birthday cake is only just being cooked. Don't do this to me. Does that mean Trent is gone? Trent, don't leave. Trent! Ah! Who leaves a party at midnight? It's not freaking New Year's Eve. It's because I spent the whole night trying to fight with Diamond instead. Oops. Oh, well. At least Cleaner Bot's still hanging out with us. And this is the problem with throwing a party. Your whole apartment is just trashed afterwards. Oh, well. Time to blow out the candles and officially enter adulthood. Because, yeah, we're glowing. We're not a young adult anymore. We're not a little spring chicken. We are now actually a full-blown adult. Fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crises await the perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. Let's remind ourselves of those lifetime goals, actually. Okay, so here we are on Generation Green. Master, Mixology, Video Gaming, and Programming. Programming, we've definitely done. Video Gaming, I feel like we... Let's check, actually. Yeah, Video Gaming, we've done too. But Mixology is level 7, so we're not far off, genuinely. This, we are nowhere near. Master the Tech Guru career and complete the Computer Wiz aspiration. We've not even started this career, which is a little bit worrying. This, we're sticking to as well. Five good friends, five enemies. I have five good friends. I don't have five enemies. I have three enemies. So I need to get working on that. With our aspiration, we oh, this whole tech guru thing has held me back so much, but I literally haven't gotten the call. So, okay. She's looking smiley. She's going into adulthood with a smile on her face. I'm apparently more worried than she is. She looks totally fine about it all. And at least Zane and uh, Jaden were there for me to celebrate with. Okay, time to sleep and have a think about what we want to do in life because we're only on two out of four of our entire lifetime aspiration. Let's see what the rent comes in at tomorrow. Oh, and I still feel bad about the fight. I feel like her life until I get these five enemies is just going to be her repeatedly feeling bad about fights. Okay, let's start the day the best way with some hacks. Um, Today, I am going to hack the National Sim Security Agency because I would like to... Oh, no, let's hack Plumbuck. Oh, look at this. This is Tren. I don't know why his face isn't loading, but it was a text message from Tren. Hey, I heard you became friends with that diamond girl. That girl is a jerk. So, Tren, say what you want about him, but he's got your back in an argument. He really does. And uh, bills have just been... Oh my gosh. Bills are 1,200. How are the boys only giving me $150 and expecting me to be able to pay off all these bills? 
Ho, 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 ho. Okay, that's that's quite a lot of money. I can't pay it right now, but maybe after some hacks I can. And oh, geez. HDH is not making me that much money. My game's money also has kind of died out too. Maybe this hacking lifestyle is not as illustrious as I thought. Okay, boom. That hack did give us enough money to be able to pay our bills, which is amazing. Jaden's also coming for a chat. Am I going to come sit next to him? We didn't really get that much chance to talk last night, but neither did her and Trent. When I click on him, I do get, by the way, um, like the first kiss option. They can now have a first kiss. She often wants to recite poetry to him as well. And right now she also wants to tickle him mercilessly. But with these guys, I'm just kind of leaving them to it. He's got to head to work. Maybe like look, look, look. she looks at him in like his little suit. He literally represents, doesn't he? Like stability, safety. And one thing that the next generation needs, you have the perfect life. So I feel like this person has been raised in like a very, you know, very stable, calm environment. So I feel like it fits this very well. But also, why do you still want more? Maybe this child kind of feels the idea that her mum has always like got one eye scan in the room. Like, I feel bad saying this because I love Jaden, but if she got with Jaden, she is kind of, you know, compromising or like settling a little bit for someone that she isn't attracted to. And maybe her kids can pick up on that. And that is the reason why Blue Gen kind of like, you know, ends up with a cheating storyline down the line. So we're kind of planting the seeds, right? We're kind of planting the seeds for that right now. So she's kind of like, look, she's still got the single and loving it lifestyle. And she literally, wait, where's she gone? There she is. She still has single and loving it. And she was thinking about that while she was talking to him. So I think when she chats with him, she can kind of imagine getting married, settling down, having kids, particularly now that she's an adult. But there's something about that that still really scares her. So I'm going to go ahead and pay off my bills. She's not going to leave me with a great deal of money, unfortunately. So I'm going to try and hack a bit of extra cash just in case I need to pay for anything at all. I also still want to make my robo. I wanted her at one point to fall in love with a robot. Do you remember that? <laughs> and it's a very stormy day in the city as well. Look at that grim weather. Maybe she's kind of imagining somewhere a little bit warmer and also maybe wants to run away from suits and cities, you know? I feel like she's talking to Neo about all of her problems. She's like, Neo, I don't know what to do. I thought some big epic thing would happen to me in my life. I thought I was a main character and some company would like call me and be like, oh my gosh, we want you to work for us and you'll we'll pay thousands of pounds a day because you're such a good hacker and then I would just work for them. But it's not happened. Maybe my life just isn't as exciting as that. And then Zane is here being like, I've got a sasis. I'm going to move out. I don't like living in the city. It's boring. And I've heard this rumor about something crazy going down in a place far from here called Strangerville. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to be moving out. And Briar's okay. She's running from the gloomy city, which didn't give her everything she was promised. She's running. She's having a midlife crisis, basically, because she also didn't get this big job offer she was expecting. She's kind of like things haven't worked out the way she wanted to. And then to add insult to injury, she's well for Jaden. Jaden is offering her this stable lifestyle, which is totally freaking her out. So I think we're going to do a runner. I think we're going to do a runner right now before Jaden gets back home from work, which is so mean. But she is quite a, like a spontaneous sort of person, you know? So I'm going to add Zane instead of a roommate. He's going to be an actual controllable character. So is his 20,000 simoleons. And we're going to be moving to Strangerville. Is it Strangerville or Stranger Town? Strangerville, right? I'm pretty sure it is. So I've lived in Strangerville before. I've lived here in my main series. I've also lived here in my main series. I've lived here. No, I have lived in Strangerville. Lila lived here, didn't she? She lived in the little trailer while she was trying to make it big. Why didn't she live in LA? I genuinely don't know, but I don't think I've ever lived in this lot in particular. Oh my gosh, the crash plane would be very cool, but I don't think I can afford it. This one we can't afford. So we're going to move to Carpophagus Corner. No idea what this is. It's only a one bed, one bathroom. So we're going to have to do some renovations. But oh, I can keep my furniture. Amazing. Moving out of the city while selling our furniture 
has given us so so whilst keeping our furniture but selling what was in the house has kept us with 15,000 simoleons this is definitely a much cheaper way to live one of the reasons we moved out of the city <gasps> and here we go it's a new place wow it is so freaking different I think I'm gonna have to make her a hot weather outfit because it's burning hot actually burning hot and we're controlling Zane who is supposed to be at work you're an assistant dishwasher Okay, you're back home from work. Five dollars. Okay, you most definitely aren't earning a great deal. I'm your big sister. Like, definitely your big sister. So, with so much begrudgement and ooh, distaste in my heart, I'm going to do the right thing and get myself a staple job for the first time in my whole life, just so we can pay the bills whilst also living out here. So let's go ahead and do it. I said I was going to move here with Zane like episodes ago. Now it's finally happening. So we're going to join the tech guru career right at the bottom. Like literally at level one. Live chat support agent. You know when the meme when Ron from Parks and Recs like goes into the hardware store and the guy asks if he needs help. Ron is like replying being like, I know more than you. This is literally Briar going into a tech guru career. This pains her so much literally it physically hurts but we're doing it we're doing it so we can live out here and we're doing it for our bro now here is the house i actually have all of my furniture in my inventory which is awesome but i need to kind of like work out where the other room is gonna be the house is kind of cute like there's nothing wrong with the house i think for the other room situation what i will do is this bedroom i'm gonna give oh gosh claire and house renovations Name a more terrible combo. Because so I was thinking I'll go into the upstairs of the house. Oh no, I hate it. <laughs> I really thought I was doing something there, but it turns out it was not. Okay, so I think when I played in my main series, I actually think that this house had the secret love under it. Do you remember that love? With the zombies in it. <laughs> Sounds even crazy when you say it like that. But I'm going to be trying to reuse everything that we had in the old place just to try and save a bit of cash okay so i'm just like slotting all of the furniture back into the house i think i'm gonna change this to like an archway we've got a much bigger kitchen now i'm trying real hard to see the bright side as you guys can probably tell it's definitely gonna be quite different here oh <gasps> Cleaner bot is still here. That's the main thing. As long as we got cleaner bot, we're laughing. And that's everything. It looks so much empty here. So much emptier, but it's a house. Like going from an apartment from to a house, things are always going to feel a little bit emptier. But the point is that you like add to it over time, you know? You slowly accumulate clutter. And then eventually a house starts to feel like a home. Now this bit out here is like particularly drab looking. I want like a chair. I want like a rocking chair. <laughs> that just like sits here and we watch the world go by let me grab one of those we don't really feel like knitters but you never know somebody could pick up knitting so we'll pop ourselves a little rocking chair out there this is meant to eventually become the idyllic house for blue gen don't forget that and you know we've got work to do on it but i think we could make it something really cool we've definitely got money to spare i always get quite excited moving somewhere new in sims it just Feels like it spices things up a little bit, you know? So, this is our new life in Strangerville with a 9 till 5, with a 10 till 6 real job that we've got to play video games for. So, one of the first buys... Wait, where did the TV go? Where is my TV? How have I just lost the TV? The TV set is not there, what the hell? Oh, jeez, am I going to have to immediately spend my money on the TV? Maybe the TV was Jaden's who we awkwardly still probably doesn't know that we've kind of pieced the scene. Although he, I mean, he probably knows by now. We moved all the furniture out. But I'm going to get me a games console so that we can play some video games for my job. Here is our new life in Strangerville. So now that I can control Zane, I can see exactly what's been going on in his life. He's friends with Father Christmas, which is interesting, or at least he knows him. Violet, he definitely does not get along with, but he definitely has a crush on her. I knew it. I knew that he had a crush on her because he was like staring at her a bunch. But yeah, he has a crush on Violet, but he's clearly quite an awkward kind of sim. But I also feel like these two of them, even though Forrest is our twin, I feel like Zane has always been our more similar sibling, but he's just 
is kind of cool, but so freaking awkward at the same time. And he has this strangeable mystery. So he, we will try doing this at the time. He's got to talk about Strangeable with five sims, buy Curio from the Curio shop and examine the sealed door at the secret lab. So I feel like Briar's hacking is going to come very useful for this. And also we'll get the listening device too. So that once he embarks on this, we can start listening into people. And yeah. He is strangeable. In fact, that house next door is really freaking cute, but we needed one big enough for two people. I tried to use stuff only from Strangerville so that it would look like a Strangerville house. But over time, I will add a bunch more to it. I might add like a veranda type situation at the back. Oh, and why are you calling Zane for that? Call me. I have to say yes to everything if it's Briar, but not Zane. And I'm desperate to know who will call Briar first. Yes, Zane, I knew we were similar. Who will call Briar first? Will it be... Abandon Jaden or will it be Trent? I guess we got to find out in the next episode, but we are here in Strangerville. I'm now on a tech guru career. I realized that I wasn't the main character, even though she is, but you know what I mean. She wasn't special as she thought. And we are now into adulthood. We have 20 days left before we can become an elder. That is 20 days left to create blue gen so we're kind of running a little bit out of time we're getting shade for fighting with people with these enemies but maybe i can start making enemies in strangerville of the people who refuse to give information to zane and may never know i might bump into somebody in strangerville who i'm really attracted to you just don't know what's gonna happen new places new faces maybe new crushes and we will create a new strangerville look ready for next episode as well i might get um zane to gradually become full conspiracy theory look because i think that could be quite fun i'm gonna switch him to a part-time job so that i can do the strangerville mystery i'm gonna say that everyone in town basically either gets hired by the science place or did get hired by the science place or by the army or by the bar. There's not a great deal going on in this town. Briar got to do the tech stuff for the science slash army people. But for Zane, there's not going to be that many options. No babysitting or barista or diver. No fast food, no fisherman, no lifeguard. So it's either going to be manual labor or retail employee. And I think I'm going to put him on manual labor. Maybe they're trying to cover up what happened at the science lab and like literally fully cover it up so that's where he starts to get an inkling when he's doing his manual labor so there we go and neo now has a bunch of places to roam around in just watch out for the locals because um they're a little bit crazy so guys let me know what you would like to see next should we uh should we extend an olive branch to Jaden and apologize for running away or instead, do we go ahead and call bad boy Trent instead? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.